Okay, the first of your forums has to do with Socrates. Um, again, the, the nature of these forums are to generate sort of a study space for you to collaborate in your understanding of this material. Uh, the first one has to do with Socrates' argument, mostly in the Apology, but it relates to the Credo as well. Um, I asked you, and I quote, why does Socrates claim that voting alone is not sufficient to bring about justice in the context of a democracy? Related to this argument, in what sense does Socrates argue that philosophy is necessary for a democracy to function properly? Now, I think this is an interesting kind of um, discussion, especially in the context of our modern Western uh, democratic uh, nations, where uh, you know our governments actually have a lot of secrets from us, and we're only periodically asked to vote. Uh, we can draw a line of distinction between our democracies and the very direct kind of democracy that would happen in Athens, where the citizens would be asked to, once a month, show up and themselves vote on all of the issues that are important to their day, right, to their state um, for that period of time. We're not asked, we're not encouraged in a lot of ways to engage with our democracy in this way, but nonetheless, the idea of a democracy is that we both rule and are ruled. We are, in a sense, all sovereign. We're all rulers. We all take a share of the burden of determining what's best for our state, right? So um, Socrates is resting his argument. It goes something along the, these lines, right? Democracy is good because it allows that which is best in humanity to express itself. That which is best in humanity is this kind of rational sort of discourse in a public fashion about what is truest or best. Right? So determining exactly what is best for a state or most just for a state to be engaging in involves this kind of rational, deliberative kind of public debate, right? which is why Socrates argued in public places. Right? So Socrates winds up arguing that um, the act of voting, right, just pulling lever yes or lever no, right, is insufficient because the kinds of arguments that would hold sway over the most people, and we saw this in the apology in his trial, he was very concerned that people would be voting based on their desires and their unreasoned opinions. All right. Now, um, it, it, what's needed for a democracy to produce justice is this rational kind of debate added also. Right? The reason we're asked to vote, we're asked what we think in the context of a democracy, Socrates is arguing here, isn't because well, it's nice, it makes us feel good or anything along those lines, but for a democracy to produce justice and for a democracy to allow that which is best in humanity to express itself, democracy has to allow for philosophy, a free and open debate about what is best or most just within a society. Right. So, um, I don't know if we agree with this. Right. Um, discussing this in light of Snowden might be interesting. Um, an interesting way to address this, too, is on, um, I believe, your page 35 of memory. Yeah, here we go. Um, there is the gadfly argument, where Socrates argues that he's been attached to the city as a sort of gadfly. Right. Uh, that stings the noble but sluggish steed, the city-state of Athens, into alertness. Right. What he's doing is he's demanding reasons in the way of justification for people's beliefs. He sees this as necessary because democracy, well, it's instrumentally valuable. According to Socrates, human beings have these capacities which they are freest when they express. So the freest state would be the state that allows human beings to express these capacities. And in order for that state to produce justice, it requires philosophy. Right? 
and it requires uh, that uh, within that state there might be protections for this free and open debate which is so essential to the proper functioning of the state right so the gadfly argument provides the basis for an argument of free, uh, for freedom of speech it's not an inalienable right or anything along those lines it's instrumentally valuable and necessary to the proper functioning of a democracy so that's at least the way i see it coming and i bring up snowden here because both canada and the us we have a lot of secrets our governments are doing things that are not subject to our democratic input our democratic analysis are not open to a free public debate right but nonetheless we call our states democracy so in what sense right? anyhow i got to leave that there um so that's that's just to get the ball rolling um for this discussion um really this hits the heart of what socrates is arguing about the the nature of a democracy and uh, the crito in a lot of ways represents uh, the kind of debate that it, Socrates believes that it's the duty of each citizen to engage in, right? The, the only valid consideration is not what's just good for me, right? But what is just, what is owed to the state under this notion of a social contract, right? So he's engaging, he's practicing what he argued in the Apology with regard to democracy. So um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this discussion and I look forward to reading your responses. All right, take care.